All right, guys, what's going on? This is Bio here, and I've been meaning to do this video for uh, for quite some time to kind of give you guys just uh, just an overview of my apartment here. Uh, no one's in it right now, so I figure it's a good time since I got the whole place to my shelf. So right now we're in the basement, and this is where whenever we host parties or lands or uh, sports events or things like that, we'll come out and chill down here. You see we got a lot of tables and whatnot for people to set up their computers, big old couch, a chair, and whatnot. Uh, so you got two doors over here. These lead to my roommate's rooms, and then... Uh, Two doors over here lead to the laundry room and where we uh, actually store all our internet whatnot and stuff. We actually have quite the setup here since so many people are using the internet. We have a, uh, we got an actual switch down there and then up here is the router and then the modem's planted on the wall here. So it gets pretty intense since so many of us use the internet and they only had uh, a couple links we had to put in our own. So that was, uh, that was not fun, but it wasn't too bad. Let's move on upstairs, y'all. Yeah? Show you guys the parking lot real quick, which is obviously where I put my car. <laughs> well, the parking lot's where you put your car. Who does that? So this is outside of our apartment. The silver car right there. The Honda Accord is mine. It's quite the beast, if I do say so myself. Not really. It's just it was cheap and it gets good gas mileage, which is all I need. It's all I ever need. Coming upstairs here, we got this sick and nasty couch. This was uh, our former roommate bought this. He works at Steelcase right now. And he got this for like dirt cheap, like less than 50 bucks, I think. And the reason he got it for so cheap was number one, because he's an employee there. And then number two, as you can see, there's holes in it because they strength tested it to see if it was durable and whatnot. This is one of their testing models. And so they uh, sell them back to employees, and we managed to uh, snag one of them. So it was pretty sick. This is all the uh, bottles. You can see there's a couple beer bottles down there and a lot of Mountain Dew and whatnot that we just, uh, too lazy to return. Eventually, once it <laughs> towers over and spills into the main access way here. We'll eventually take care of them and get our deposit back, but uh, yeah, not uh, not too much fun. So got the kitchen area, a bunch of paperwork that we probably should not have sitting out in the open. Um, some dishes. I don't believe any of these are mine. I usually take care of my dishes pretty quick just so it's not a problem. And there's some standard cupboards and food. This is actually, this is kind of my cupboard area a little bit as you can see. I don't know how well you can see, but it's pretty messy right now. I just kind of got a bunch of stuff everywhere. Mini wheats, got some, got some oatmeal, some bananas, just a bunch of random stuff that I'll probably, probably never eat ever. No, eventually I will, but, but let's get into the most important thing here, and that is the bathroom. No, okay, so we got my room going on over here. So, close the door real quick, and I'll show you guys what's going down in my room. So first off, probably one of the most important things in this room is the guitar. This is an Epiphone Les Paul. I wish. Oh, how I wish it was a Gibson. <laughs> but I do not have two grand lying around to spend on a uh, guitar at this point in time. But this is a uh, Epiphone Les Paul. It is a gold tap, as you guys can probably probably identify. And yeah, when I, whenever I think of a guitar, the Gibson body style is what I think of. It's the first thing that comes to mind. It's not Stratocaster. It's not some funky, psychedelic, weird-looking guitar. It's just a straight-up Les Paul. This is, this is the epitome of body style, well, at least for my personal taste. Very subjective indeed, but damn, isn't it sexy. <laughs> um, I actually have another guitar too, I'll show you, I'll actually show you guys in a sec here, but uh, got going on over here, we got this uh, busted ass monitor that broke a couple months ago on me, the AC adapter within it started fizzling out and uh, sparking a little bit, and eventually I started smelling burnt plastic, so I'm like, yeah, probably shouldn't plug that in one anymore, I don't want to uh, burn the place down. Got my bed going down, my backpack, shoes, and oh, she trying to think of what else before we go into the most important thing in the room, which is the setup, my lair, if you will. Most important besides the uh, Epsom, Ep Epiphone Les Paul, of course. But uh, so we got another guitar going on over here. This is an Ibanez Art Core, I believe the specific model number is like an AS73. Uh, sitting behind it is a 50 watt amp. It's a Vox, so pretty well known brand. Not a Marshall, but pretty well known, pretty good quality, and I've, I've enjoyed it fine. So, but let's uh, let's get into things over here. But I digress. So, let me just kind of point on everything here. I got one computer running out here, another computer running over there. I'll talk about that one later and why I have that over there. And then over here, I got the Xbox, the uh, external hard drive where I back up everything because I'm running RAID Zero on this, which isn't the most reliable setup, but uh, it's fast, so and it helps me with capturing. But anyways, let's uh, let's get started right from the source here. So, 
We got my Xbox, and it's currently plugged into this HDMI splitter. The splitter splits it off two directions. One goes to my computer where I have an internal capture card. I no longer use the HD PVR. I have what's called the HD Colossus, which is an internal capture card. It plugs into a PCI slot onto your computer. It's actually it's about the same quality, maybe even a little bit better than the Hapog, but it, uh, it's a lot cheaper. It's like 130 bucks as opposed to 190 or whatever it is. And so I got that running into there. And then the other HDMI cord that was split off is running into this TV monitor right now. And you can see i got my Xbox screen up right now. Now, a cool thing about that is, since this monitor has a couple different imports, I can have both PC and Xbox plugged into the same monitor. Or, yeah, PC and Xbox plugged into the same monitor at the same time. Switch it over here for you guys so you can check it out. Now, right now I have the, uh, the capture software running. I believe this is called ArcSoft Showbiz is the word for it. You can see it's um, it's showing you exactly what my Xbox is seeing. So you know if I can capture it, I can edit it later, upload it to YouTube, and whatnot, and do uh, pretty much whatever I want with it. Another cool thing about having this previous screen is it allows me to stream. And to stream on Twitch TV, I use this program. It's called XSplit. What I do is I I make it capture a portion of this screen. So I I click on the option over here. It's like screen cap or something like that and then I drag from this corner all the way down to that corner and it captures that portion of the screen and also captures the audio as well because that's coming through the uh, through the PC. So that's uh, that's very quickly that's how I stream and kind of a uh, general gist, the gist of things there. But of course on top of that you have my voice as well and for that I use this microphone over here. It's a Logitech microphone. It costs like 20 bucks. Uh, pretty simple, pretty basic, but it's really good quality. Picks up a lot of sound really well. So for 20 bucks I can't go wrong. So but uh, the thing about that is there's two different ways I use it. Uh, more often I'm plugging it into this computer when I'm playing things like Call of Duty or things where the voice being in sync doesn't really matter. I usually just plug it into this computer. But when I need my voice to be perfectly in sync with the video, as in like to the tenth of a second, then I go ahead and plug it into this computer, which will henceforth be known as the bitch computer, and I'll explain why. So the reason I have to do that is because this video is about uh, on the capture screen software this video is about a second delayed and I can actually show it to you guys real quick here if I can unravel my controller tags falling off my screen alright so you can see the screen right now you can see my controller I'm gonna push down and it's gonna take about a second before it goes down 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 so it's about a second behind what's really happening so if I have that microphone plugged into this computer this there's no delay on the microphone so the audio is going to be about a second ahead when it comes to the audio from me and so that's not good if I'm playing Halo because all of a sudden you'll hear a call out about a second before it actually happens so I'll call out, oh he's one shot us too and you're like wow what the hell are you talking about there's no one there and then I'll pop around the corner or whatever so what I have to do is I have to have this computer running the bitch computer <laughs> I have to have this running and put about a second delay using a program called radio delay so what I'll do is I'll plug this microphone into this computer have it run through that radio delay program which will delay it about a second or whatever I choose to, it can be anywhere from a tenth of a second to like a hundred seconds and then I'll output that audio through this uh, through this cord here and then it'll go into the back of this computer where it's now a second behind and so it'll sync up with this video. <laughs> the, uh, the setup for my stream can get pretty intense so now the problem with that is it's not going to be in sync with my camera then which uh, you can kind of see here I got my camera going on exploit right now from this little dealio down here so that way you guys can see my face when I'm playing Camera-ception. I'm, <laughs> I'm recording the camera that is recording me while I'm observing the recordation. Oh my gosh! Okay, so but yeah, that's kind of what's going down. That's kind of the gist of things. Just wanted to uh, let you guys know about that and show you my place, my kick-ass pad. And the, oh, one last thing here I should probably point out: these are my headphones. I've used these for probably about two and a half years now. They are the Sennheiser HD 555s. I love them. They're great quality. They're probably a little bit better than the Astro A40 headsets, which probably most of you have heard of them. And they blow the water out of pretty much any Turtle Beach headset out there. So the one problem with them is they don't have a headset, so you'll have to either use your own headset or just don't play with one. Uh, I usually just wrap a headset around my neck, a regular Xbox communicator, but the cool offset about that is these are only like 70 bucks as opposed to some of the really expensive headsets which get up to almost 200 bucks. So it's a trade-off, and I really don't mind wearing the communicator around my neck because I don't even notice it after a while. So they're pretty good. If you're in the market for a headset, these are definitely something you would, uh, would consider. But uh, all right, enough trying to sell Sennheiser. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments section, and I will try and get back to you. But uh, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.